Hi, my name is Natieli and today's tutorial is for this tiny giraffe in a migurumi that you can make it as a keychain so you can put it in a keychain or uh, just single like that just like a tiny toy you can also make it uh, with a thicker yarn so uh, it's going to get bigger and then uh, you can use it as a toy also just a small toy I am using a three millimeters hook for it and uh, a yarn that is mixed cotton and acrylic the yarn doesn't quite matter but if you use a yarn that is compatible with a three millimeters hook the size will be similar the only difference is in the neck I use 2.5 millimeters hook so you're gonna need uh, one two different kinds of hook uh, one uh, that is half smaller than than the, the bigger one that you're using I also have a lots of a uh, tiny amigurumi lots of keychains on my channel and I'm going to link down below if you like tiny amigurumis like I do. So let's start by doing the face, nose, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> I'm gonna say nose. So we're going to chain five. So one, two. Oh, I forgot to say, the written pattern, it's always on the description uh, of the video. So one, two, three, four, and five chains. So on this one, we don't uh, stitch. So we skip this one and start on the next one. Then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, and three single crochets. And now on the last stitch of the side, we're going to uh, make three single crochets together on the same stitch. So one, two, three single crochets, all on the same stitch. On the other side, like turning around, we're gonna make three more single crochets. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and three. And now on this last stitch here, we're going to make three single crochets together on the same stitch. One, two, and three. So that's the end of the first round to the nose. Now, uh, on the end of this round, we're going to have 12 stitches. For round number two of the face, we're going to just make 12 stitches. 12 single crochets all around. So one, two, three. So just single crochets after single crochet up till we get here on the marker. If you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me because YouTube show my video to more people. And if you, if you want to see more patterns, subscribe to the channel so you can see every amigurumi that I'm still going to post. You can uh, check the link for all the keychains that I made in English. So there you go, 12 single crochets. And that's it for the nose. So we're going to leave a long tail uh, so we can... Uh, sew it on the face So we leave it like that and now we're going to start with the yellow yarn We're gonna start by doing the ears So we make a magic ring and then we're going to make four single crochets on this magic wing so one two three 
and four single crochets. Now we turn the work around and we're gonna work from behind four single crochets again. So one, two, three, and this last one is pretty tight, but there you go, four. Now we turn the work around again, and then we skip the first stitch that it was going to be this one. Let me see if it was going to focus. So this was going to be the first stitch. Oh, where is the focus? <laughs> so this is was going to be the first stitch. We skip it and then we do on the next one. We're gonna make here one single crochet, then chain two, and one single crochet on the same stitch. Now for the next two uh, stitches, we're gonna slip stitch. So slip stitch one and oops, slip stitch twice. And now we're going to make one single crochet on the magic ring to finish. So there you go, there's our first ear. We're gonna uh, leave some yarn to sew it on the head. It doesn't need to be really long because it's a really tiny ear. So what we'll do is I'm going to pass this through and now I'm gonna pull it. So there you go, that's our first ear. Now I'm gonna make a second ear exactly like this one. So I'm not gonna make it on video, I'm just going to make mine here. You can make yours also, and then you unpause the video. So there you go, our second ear is ready. Now we're gonna start making the body. We're gonna start by doing a magic ring and then six single crochet on this magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So on the first round of the body, body and head, because we're gonna make this as a whole, the body and then the head all together. Uh, the first round is with six, stitches now for the second round of the body we're gonna increase six times which means we're gonna make two single crochets in each uh, stitch from the previous row so we're gonna have six increases and by the end of this round we're gonna have 12 single crochets so for those of you that don't know i am brazilian so uh, the majority of my patterns are in Portuguese and I have a series of Brazilian animals and I, I don't know if you guys are interested like a capybara and a blue parrot so I have some of these Brazilian animals if you want me to uh, record a video for them in English too please leave it out on the comments I'm not sure if I should do it in English as well. So if you think I, I should leave it out on the comments and say the, the one you want, uh, what animal that I, I made in Portuguese that I didn't make in English yet. So we got here by the second, the end of second round, the 12 single crochets. Now for round number three of the body, we're gonna make one single crochet, one increase. So I made one single crochet alone in a stitch and now two single crochets together on the same stitch. So that's one single crochet and one increase. We're gonna repeat this six times. One single crochet, one increase. Up to the end of, the, of our rounds, up to we get to the marker. And by the end of this round, that is round number three, we're gonna have two, 18 single crochets. So one single crochet, one increase. So we got here in the marker with 18 single crochets. So now for round uh, number four, we're gonna start by making two single crochets. 
So one, I'm gonna place one marker, one and two. And now we're gonna make a bobble stitch. If you already made uh, one of my patterns, you're already familiar with it. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna yarn over. You see that here is already a loop from the previous uh, stitch. We're gonna yarn over and then come here on the next stitch and pass through the needle. Then we yarn over again, pull through. Now we have three loops, the one we had before and two more that we did it. So we're gonna yarn over and then take only two loops. Now we are back to having two. Now do it again, we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and now we yarn over, pull through two loops only. Now we have three, then we yarn over one more time, and then we have five loops, and then we pull through two only. Now we have, by the end, four loops, the one we previously had, and then three more. So now yarn over and pull through all of them. So that's a bobble stitch. So now for the next four stitches, we're gonna make four single crochets, but uh, we're going to make back loop only. So there are here, let me see if I can find the focus. So we have two loops here, you see? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take just the loop, the back loop, so back loop only, four times, so there you go, you have two loops, we're gonna take the back one and then one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna make another bubble stitch uh, uh, and taking two loops normally so this one i'm going to make i'm going to make a little bit quicker but if you have any doubts still go back to video a little bit and then check how to do the bubble stitch now we're gonna make six single crochets back loop only also so one two three four five and six single crochet and now the tail for the tail we're gonna chain four one two three and four and now we come back by doing three slip stitches on the first one we don't make we skip it so i'm gonna make three slip stitches so one slip stitch two slip stitches and three slip stitches now we go back here and finish the round with four single crochets back loop only. So one, two, three, and four. So there we go. We got uh, to the end of round number four, still with 18 single crochet, but now we have the legs and the tail. For rounds five and six, we're gonna make 18 single crochets. For round number five, we're gonna start by making 14 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. So we got here to the tail. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, pull it up like that so it, it stays out. And now we're gonna finish by doing four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. So we now made 18 single crochets, but the difference is we pull the tail out. So you cannot crochet with the tail in. I was, I, just, I was just showing you how to do it. 
And now we're going to make one more round of 18 single crochets, going around, up, just single crochet after single crochet. I'm not going to make it in video, so you can pause the video and then make your uh, 18 single crochets, round number 6, and then you come back. So I finished round number 6 with 18 single crochets, now we're going to start round, round number 7. So we're going to start by doing 2 single crochets, so 1 and 2. I'm going to pass through my marker here. And now we're going to make a bubble stitch. If you don't like uh, sewing very much, I'm not a big fan of sewing amigurumi parts. I also have a no sewing needed playlist that you can check out on the channel. So we made a bubble stitch. Now I'm gonna make five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Another bubble stitch. Yarn over, pull through all of them. Now we're gonna finish the round by making nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine single crochets. So there you go. We got by the end of round 18, seven with still with 18 stitches but now we have the hands so for round number eight we're gonna make one single crochet and one decrease and we're going to repeat that six times so one single crochet and one invisible decrease so we do it like that that's one time we're gonna repeat six times one single crochet one decrease, one single crochet, and one decrease. We're gonna repeat this by the end of the round, and by the end of the round, we're gonna have 12 stitches only because by the end, we're gonna have to decrease six times in total. So, one single crochet and one decrease. For uh, the next round, that is round number nine, we're going to continue to do one single crochet and one decrease. But the difference is we're going to repeat that four times. So one single crochet, one decrease. And we're going to repeat that four times. And before we do that, I forgot to say, <laughs> I'm going to stuff the body because the next one we're going to tie it up really closely. So I'm going to stuff the body now so i finish here round number nine with uh, 88 stitches and i already stuffed the body so now we're going to change hook size i was using a three millimeters hook now i'm going to use a 2.5 and for rounds 10 to 13 which means four rounds, we're going to make eight single crochet and we're going to repeat that four times. Four rounds of eight single crochets with the tight, with the smaller hook size. That's the neck that we're going to make right now. So one, two, three, just single crochet after single crochet. Four rounds of eight single crochets. The only difference is now that we're going to use this smaller hook size. So I just did eight 
single crochets. Now I'm going to repeat that three more times. It's going to be four rounds total of eight single crochets. I'm going to make mine and then I come back. So I finish my neck, you can see. And now we're going to change back the hook size to three millimeters. So this is 2.5 millimeters hook. And now I change back to the three millimeters hook. And now we're going to make round number 14. On round number 14, we're gonna increase eight times. So we're going to make two single crochets together in every stitch. So one increase, one and two single crochets together, two increases. And we're going to repeat that up to the end of the round. Two single crochets together on every stitch of the round. And by the end of round number 14, we're going to have 16 single crochets. And now for round 15, we're going to make one single crochet and one increase. So one single crochet alone, two single crochets together on the same stitch. We're going to repeat that up to the end of the round and we're going to repeat it for eight times. One single crochet, one increase. So by the end of this round, that is round number 15, we're gonna have 24 stitches. So I got here by the end of round number 15 with 24 single crochets. Now from round number 16 to round number 19, uh, that means four rounds, we're going to make 24 single crochets. So four rounds of 24 single crochets. I'm going to get here to the marker and make four rounds. Uh, that's the head. We are in the head. And after we do that, we can already stuff the neck also. So I'm going to make my four rounds of 24 single crochets and then I come back. So now I have here all my four rounds of 24 single crochets, rounds 19, 16 to 19. And now we're gonna make round number 20. So for round number 10, 20, we're going to make two single crochets, one, two, and one decrease. Two single crochets and one decrease. And we're going to repeat that six times up to the end of our rounds. Two single crochets, one decrease. This is an invisible decrease, but it doesn't actually need to be an invisible decrease. Just a decrease, it's fine. So we're going to repeat that six times, and by the end of this round, we're gonna have 18 stitches. Now for round 21, we're going to make one single crochet and one decrease. One single crochet, and one decrease up to the end of a round and we're going to repeat that six times one single crochet one decrease and by the end of the round we're gonna have 12 stitches so we got here in the end of round 21 with 12 stitches now we stop a tiny bit uh, to place the safety eyes because uh, the next round is going to be the last round so I'm using here seven millimeters safety eyes. Uh, I'm going to place it between rounds 19 and 18. So this one that we stopped was round 21. So 20, 19 and 18. So between these two rounds, we're going to place the safety eyes. And between the eyes, we're going to leave four single crochets one two three four and the fifth one we place the second eye and then we check to see if it is uh, looking straight 
I don't know, I think maybe a little bit more to the side. So four single crochet between the eyes. No, actually that was the best place. And then I'm going to place my safety lock and then stop the head because the uh, next round is going to be the last one. So I'm going to do that and then I come back. So there you go. I place the safety eyes, stop the head. Now we're going to make last round. Uh, that is round 22. We're going to make only decreases. We're going to decrease six times. So one decrease, two, three, four, five, and six. So there you go. Now I'm going to stuff a tiny bit more because it's kind of flat. So I'm going to stuff a tiny bit more and then we're going to close. We can cut the yarn now. Not really long. Uh, if you're going to make it as a keychain, leave a, a long yarn to sew the keychain thing also. So I'm going to stuff a little bit more. So there you go, I stuffed a tiny bit more. Now we're gonna take a tapestry needle and what we're gonna make is, we're going to close off. We're going to take front loops, two at a time, and then pull through the yarn. One more time, and then one more time. And now it's close. So now we come here on a random spot and then we're going to tie a knot. What I do is I, I leave a loop and then I pass through the yarn through it. And there you go. And I'm going to loose this piece of yarn here into the body. And then we can cut it out, the tail. You see, there you go, you're almost done. So we're going to uh, sew the ears uh, on a little bit higher than the eyes, so on the rounds above the, the eyes. And then we're going to sew the nose right under the eyes also. I'm going to start sewing here and then I come to show you how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew almost all of it and then leave a space and then embroider the this black lines. So that's it. Now it's time for put everything together. Just sew everything in. So uh, just wanted to remind you, if you don't like amigurumis that has a lot of sewing in it, I have a playlist of no sewing needed amigurumis that I'm going to link down below. So now we just put everything together. I'm going to do mine here and then I show you, I, I come back to show you the finished project. So I start sewing the nose. And then I left a space here, open still, uh, that I still have to sew in. And now I'm going to embroider the nose. So I'm going to make here a line. There you go, too simple straight lines and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot and then hide this yarn over that and then stuff it a tiny bit I, I stopped to show you 
because uh, you got to remember stuff the nose otherwise it's going to stay flat like this so to stay like this you need to stuff so you first embroider and then you stuff and then I'm going to finish sewing everything so here you go uh, our giraffe it's almost done we sewed all the parts that we need to sew but we are missing the horns I don't even know if it's called horns but I'm going to say that so we're gonna miss this ones uh, they are crocheted they are not sewed in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it around and then we're gonna see here the inverted magic ring on the round before between the ears uh, we're going to just pass through our yarn here I'm going to leave it a tail so I can afterwards finish off and now what we're going to make is we're gonna chain five so one two three four and five now we're going to come back uh, we're gonna skip the first uh, chain here and we're gonna come back by doing four single crochets on this chain so one two three and four now what we're gonna do is I'm going to first tie this knot up here just to secure it so there you go so on the stitch that we started you can see that we started here so we're gonna slip stitch on the same stitch that we start so slip stitch now we're gonna walk by doing two slip stitches on the stitches that follow so this is was one slip stitch how we're gonna do is one and two slip stitches oh gosh one and it's not working let's try it again <laughs> so one for the next stitch and then two slip stitches a bit hard to crochet because of the stuffing so we did two, now we're gonna repeat what we did in the first time. We're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then we're going to come back. Skipping the first, we're gonna come back with four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And now on the same stitch that we made, this we're going to slip stitch now what I'm going to do uh, we have here the horns now what I'm going to do is cut this yarn a little bit short uh, short and then what we're going to do is uh, finish off by sewing the this loose ends I'm going to do that and then I come back. And now here it is. I cut all the yarn that was left. There you go. There is a tiny giraffe. They don't look exactly, they never look exactly the same. This big difference. They have tiny differences. But there you go, our tiny little giraffe in Amigurumi. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any doubts in the pattern, you can leave it out on the comments. I answer, I read them all. 
so I can answer and help you out. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.